Welcome back to Brewless Kingdom. I'm Mike the Brewlist, and I hope y'all, I hope y'all Brewlist had a great, uh, great Friday. I know, I know, I did. Got out of work early, and you know what today is? It's bottling day. Now I shouldn't be that excited because bottling is one of the most arduous processes in this whole beer making experience. Now, it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it's also when you do a lot of your cleanup, which is not that fun, but uh, it's bottling day. So that means I'm two weeks closer to being able to drink something and enjoy something that, that I made. Now, um, so when I, when I got home from work today, the first thing I did is I sanitized all my equipment and um, all my, my siphoning equipment, my bottling equipment, everything I needed in order to get today done. I sped through that process and I wanted to get to this video right before bottling so you guys can see everything that I did. Now, in my last video, I told you all that I was making a uh, an Irish Red, okay? So, um, as you can see here, we have five gallons of Irish Red. But with the label and the name of the beer that I wanted to come up with, I wanted to come up with something pretty pretty fun, right? So, what I came up with today was... A, and you're gonna, you're gonna like this one, Brewless. Um, I came up with Red Eye or Irish Red Eyes Black Dragon Ale. Now check out the label that I made. So you can see batch 001, made 28 February, Irish Red Eyes Black Dragon Ale. All right. Brewers, of course, me, Mike the Brewless, and the alcohol content is roughly around six percent. I ran. Uh, I ran my hydrometer through the uh, through the beer, and it came out to be right around six percent. Now, everything um, that you guys can see I have on my table here is for the bottling process. I have some bottles that have been sanitized. My bottle caps. Of course, you got to have the bottle opener. I made this one myself. Um, my bottle capper, and my other bottles. Bottling bucket with my bottle filler. And some more sanitizer down there and just make it easy easy cleanup and easy easy maintenance now I'm gonna walk you through the process that I took today transferring from the fermentation bucket over to the um, the bottling bucket now I can't really walk and explain things to you because I don't have my, my lovely camera assistant my wife to, uh, to help me out here. So I'm going to carry you around and be flipping back and forth. I apologize if that makes any of you guys kind of weird about the video, uh, but that's what I got to work with right now. Um, and then before we start with that, big, if you if you enjoy the content, um, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, invite your friends, anybody who enjoys making beer, anybody who enjoys dueling. Let's make them part of the Brewless Kingdom family, all right? And if also, if you guys have content that you want to see uh, me do, whether that be product openings, deck lists, um, collection binders, any beer uh, beer processes that I go through, um, be sure to leave a comment down below. I appreciate any advice that I can get as far as the channel because it is in its infant stage. And, uh, you know, I just want to make this the best possible experience for you guys, the brewless, um, that I can. So without further ado, let's get into it. So now... Um, the beer started in this bucket. This is the one I showed you all the other day. I came in, I sanitized all my equipment. You saw the sanitizer on the ground earlier, um, including the bucket, the tubing, the, the siphons, everything else. So what I did was, is I had to start the priming sugar. Now what that does is it puts the carbonation in the, the actual beer. So when you're going through the, the bottling phase, it takes about two weeks because you need that that sugar um, to react with the, the content in the beer to actually give the beer its carbonation. Now I took five ounces of corn sugar and roughly a pint of water and I put it to a boil, put it in the bottling bucket here, and then um, I siphoned my beer from the fermentation bucket into the bottling bucket. Now I tried something different this time that I did, haven't done the last couple of times because uh, I did a brew with a buddy of mine and he used this mesh grate type thing to really exclude out all the finite materials and the little floaties that you get in your beer from the from the yeast reactions and I think it, it worked really well. 
and a couple of the other processes that I did during that initial cook um, really helped minimize the amount of sediment and things you get when you do your home brewing. Now, um, it was, I think, I think it worked out really well. Time will tell in two weeks when I try it to see if it actually worked. But, uh, um, yeah, I'll show you all the bottling process and then, uh, we'll go from there. All right. So there you go. You see my bottling bucket. I got my tubing and my bottle filler all hooked up to my valve here. All I need to do is flip that to on and, uh, then the beer is set to go down the tube. I stick this little guy in here in the bottom of the bottle and then it uh, fills the bottle up to roughly about here. And then from there, I'll set the bottle aside. And then when I get all the bottles done, as you can see, I got like two cases. This five gallons should yield me about roughly 48 to 52-ish beers. So um, I got a lot of work ahead of me uh, right now, but um, what you'll, what you'll do is you fill it up to that neck in the bottle, set all the bottles aside. And then when you get done, you're going to take your bottle caps, which also have to be sanitized and you take your bottle caps, right? You'll set them on top of the bottle and then take your bottle clamp and you just clamp it down until it, uh, snaps on the, the lip of the bottleneck. All right. Say hi, Delta. Say hi. He's helping me out with the beer making process too. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of work ahead of me in order to get this stuff done, but um, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy the process. I hope you all enjoy the process too if you make beer or if you just like, you know, doodling because this is a brewless channel. So, uh, I hope you all are enjoying the content so far. Like I said, um, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. It helps me build the channel figure out the general interest of the channel. Uh, I really enjoy doing this stuff. So um, help me help you make this better uh, in any shape or form. Now, again, this is my last uh, close out to the uh, setup before I get going. I'll be sure to send you guys some pictures um, throughout the process that I'll include in the channel as well. And then we'll, uh, um, we'll be ready to enjoy this in about two weeks. All right, so just in time for St. Patrick's Day. You gotta enjoy the Irish Red Eyes Black Dragon Ale on St. Patrick's Day, it's a must. All right, so without uh, further ado, brewers, I'm gonna get to work and uh, y'all keep brewing, all right? Cheers. <laughs>